We're here in Hilton Head Plantation at 12 Turret Shell and um, just doing a little look outside first. There is, this is the, the path that goes, let me show you here. It's a bike path that goes through the community but also goes down this way right down to the Port Royal Sound. So this is a look from the street. It's tucked in really nicely down here at the end. The yard is fantastic. I think the owner is uh, in the golfing business, so he certainly knows how to uh, make sure that the yard looks nice. Two-car garage with a turnaround here. Nice touch with the oyster shells around the foundation. Everything looks to be in really nice condition, really great shape. When we come through the front door, we come into the LVP floors. Nice big living space here. It's a, a, an electric fireplace. Coat closet to the left. Smooth ceilings. This is a beveled tray. Nice smooth ceilings. Give some, some nice height through here. We'll go this way first. Into the first bedroom in the front. Nice baseboards. They've not updated the cabinets, but you could put some, I think you, you could put some granite on top of here and, and a cute mirror and call it a day. And really, if you tied in, it's all today's colors. So you really could, um, not have to do much in this bathroom. And then it is a Jack and Jill comes into this bedroom, which is a little bit smaller in the front here. Closet for this bedroom here. And I just want to step back and give you another look. Across the hall is the master bedroom. Closet, cedar closet on this side. Little, two little window seats on either side. crown molding in here. And again, they have not updated the the bathroom in here. You have two two closets though. Pull down from the attic or for the attic. But two nice size walk-ins. And then the gray tile in in this bathroom as well. So I, I mean, just think this would be pretty easy to update. You would, I think, probably end up redoing this eventually, but for a little while, it's not, it's very, very well kept and maintained, at least from, that's how it appears to me. Skylight is in good shape. So again, two closets in here, plus the cedar closet. And we come back through. And this is really, it's really a nice big room. Nice size dining.
and then access out to the backyard. And this passes in right into the kitchen. Which you probably would update this. It's not bad, but, and they have some of the right elements in it between the, this is a, a nice sink in here. But I probably would repurpose that and, and maybe look to, to doing a kitchen reno at some point. Or not, it's, it's fine the way, the way it is. And it comes right in here into the, into the laundry room. And you have a, a half bath as well, which is great. A little sink here, some extra storage. And then a, a nice size two car garage. And then this goes out to the back to the side yard. Good size closet here. Another good size closet here. And then this is lovely out here with the screen porch. They even have a little garden going on uh, off here to the side, but really, really nice space out here. Even on the side, you might be able to do to do a pool, a small pool, off to the side if you, if you wanted to. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I like like the uh, fact that you have the screen porch there or modify, I think you'd end up having to modify this deck a little bit, um, and or we'd just have to see exactly where these, where the property line is, but there's plenty of room here for a pool. Nice trees. So this is it, this is 12 turret shell. I'll talk to you soon.